Hi, in this tutorial I'll continue with the next color tool, Hue Saturation, and here we can adjust the hue, lightness and saturation, and by default this master setting is selected, which means that we will be affecting all the colors of the image. And we can desaturate the image, we can make it more saturated, we can reduce the lightness and make the image darker, or increase it to make it brighter. We can adjust the hue and notice here that we will go to the left. The colors here will change counterclockwise, which means that this yellow will become red, the green will become yellow, and so on. Let's see how that works. And if you go to the right, the colors will rotate clockwise. And you see here that we can get some interesting effects using this master option. But the main idea of this tool is to be able to adjust certain colors in the image, certain parts of the image without affecting others. And the way we can do that is by selecting these different colors. Here we have six colors, red, magenta, blue, cyan, green, and yellow. And let's say in this image, I want to change the color of the sky. So I'll select this blue here. And you see that we have some leftovers here of cyan color. And if you want to change the color of this too, we can select it. And you see how now only the sky changed the color and we can preview the original image and the image after editing. This option here, reset color, will reset the settings only for the selected color. So if we do that, you see that we selected, we reset the settings for the cyan here, but we still have the settings for the blue. So if you want to reset the entire tool, we can click this option here. Now this option here, overlap, will allow us to affect not only the blue, but the next to the blue color. So very similar colors will also be affected. So if I turn this all the way up to 100, and I change the color here, let's say, to green. You see that now we don't have those leftovers from the CN. If I increase it to, let's say, this color, you see that, again, we don't have leftovers from the CN, but we get some noise here, and this is because, to start with, this image has a lot of noise, you can, by the way, download it from the first link in the description and exercise this tutorial. So this overlap option here allows us to affect not only the selected color, but similar to that color colors and make things easier for us, but not always provide good results. So depending on the image, you might need to take different approach to use this or maybe adjust two different colors to change a color in your image. The rest of the options here are not new. You can add settings to favorites. From here you can import settings from a file, export settings to a file or manage settings. And from here the only difference is that you can delete previously saved settings. So that's it for this tutorial. Like the video, subscribe, 